Something happened to me yesterday afternoon that I found of great help to me and that may be of help to you. Since that moment, the fear has gone. It was when Bishop Hales was speaking. He mentioned that we had known each other since boyhood, and as he did, a memory was replayed in my mind. It was, it was of a hotel ballroom in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Elder Hales was likely not there since he lived in what seemed to us the well-established stake in New York. We were in the New Jersey district, a single district that covered the whole state. The Princeton branch met in my parents' dining room. Dad was the branch president, mother was the pianist and chorister, which is hard to do if you think about it. <laughs> there was not another family in the branch with children, so my brother Ted was the ironic priesthood. And my brother Hardin and I were all there was of primary and junior Sunday school. The congregations were young students who'd happened to be there, like Jim Fletcher and Neil Zundel, and a few older converts, none with spouses that were members. There was no building, no gym, no stake center. And so we traveled to a hotel ballroom for what must have been a district conference. I was sitting on a folding chair somewhere near the back, next to my mother. I must have been very young because I can remember putting my legs through the back of the chair and facing aft instead of forward. <laughs> but then I remember hearing something, a man's voice from the pulpit. I turned around and looked. I still remember that the speaker was at a rostrum set on wooden risers. There was a tall window behind him. He was the priesthood visitor. I don't know who he was, but he was tall and bald and he seemed very old to me. He must have been talking about the Savior or the Prophet Joseph or both because that was all I remember much of hearing in those days. But as he spoke, I knew what he said came from God and that it was true and it burned in my heart. That was before scholars had told me how hard it was to know. I just knew of certainty. I knew it was true. And when I listened to Bishop Hales yesterday, I knew what he was saying was from God and that it was true. And then the fear left. You can have that same confidence, not of yourself, but from God. He lives and he communicates with his children this is the church of Jesus Christ, and he leads it. No assignment in it need or ever overwhelm you if you know that and listen for the master's voice.